Ladybug Lane Soaps and this is Margie and as usual I hope everybody is having a good day. So you're probably wondering what this cylinder thing is doing right in front of me. Well that is the tall cylinder mold that Brambleberry sells that my twin sister Kathy who lives up in Lake Stevens bought some time ago and she did not care for it so she passed it along to me so thank you very much Kathy and I have only used it once before uh, it was I think like for the Brazilian clay samples from uh, from Brambleberry also so just for a little bit of housekeeping I'll, I'll get back to this thing here in a minute so I'm going to be up. Oh, let's yes, yes. Thank you. Let's get the put my goggles on. Anyway, so this is from Nature's Garden, 16 ounces, and it really, really smells good. Now this is the this is the only oatmeal, milk, and honey that I have tried. I am going to be you know using this up eventually. And I don't make it too often, and it really sells well when I do make it, so I should make it more more often. It really smells nice. It has a uh, sweet, not not a sickening sweet. Of course, you know, this is just my own my own um, observation. Uh, and it smells kind of like brown sugar, um, cream, kind of a sweet cream, and I, and I really, really like it. So I'll be using that, and then I have some of that colloidal oatmeal, and I hope this isn't too much. I was thinking about putting in just some of the raw ground up oatmeal, but I am not sure if if my customers care for that anymore. So I'm just going to put in some of this colloidal oatmeal, which is really nice for your skin. All right, back to the cylinder. Let's see if we're still in view. Yes, we are. Okay, so what this cylinder is about is it comes with this PCB pipe, and I don't know if this is exactly three inches in diameter from here to here, but it comes with this piece of plastic, which you need to get in there, and then you just kind of need to I know it's, it's kind of hard to see, but you just kind of need to make sure that it's flat and flatten up the sides in there. And then what I do for the bottom, just, just so it doesn't leak, is I took a piece of saran wrap and I put it in, inside. I really don't know what I have to undo it, but I just put it inside there and then just pushed, pushed the PC, PCV pipe um, down in here. So. And then for this, of course, this is just the freezer paper, and you always have your 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 shiny side uh, facing the soap. Boy, try saying that fast. Shiny side. Um, and so what I did, I just wrapped wrapped the paper around here. You know, gave it a snip, and then you just put the paper in here and then with your finger then with my fingers I just kind of you know held it in place like that and then you just start start taping it and it's not a, it's not a super super tight fit you know it's it's pretty good and then I just did it on the same way same way here and then just just tape it and so that will be good enough. So, alrighty. So I will zoom back in here. So I'm not a mile high. Goodness, that was that was high. All right, let me crank her. Whoops, crank her down. I was trying to have the camera stand here, which is sitting on top of our stove, like really high. But then I wouldn't be able to see. Oh gracious. Oh. Okay, that should be pretty good. Alrighty. So, 
I just wanted to mention that I did have a little contest a couple of video go a couple of videos ago um, asking asking the viewers to take a while I guess of when I started soaping and and there was one girl from back, or I should say, not girl, a gal. Uh, let me see if I remember her name right. Uh, Diane Diana Mitchell from Pennsylvania. And she guessed exactly right, which was October 1st of 2016. And that's when I first started soaping. So congratulations. And the book, My Goodnight Eleanor, Historical Edwardian Air Romance book is in the mail and she should be getting it I think tomorrow or the next day. So I will be having more of those. Okay, so I just added the little bit of the oils and butters to the colloidal oatmeal just to get it a little I'm going to say this word that I just don't like. Incorporated. Okay. And I think I'm just, I think I will. Let's see, do I want to add that after I get some of the light go? No, no, I, I better not because I do have all the oils. Okay. All right, talking to myself. Okay. All right, let's get that mixed up a little bit. Oh, and a funny thing happened this morning. So I was wanting to make some sort of like an oatmeal milk. I don't know if anybody has tried that before, where you just take some raw oats and put it in a jar with the with your distilled water okay, in goes the lovely lovely whew, um, distilled water and then maybe after about a half an hour I squeezed out the oatmeal and I needed to have put a couple extra ounces of water in since the oatmeal soaked up some of the water and so what happened was right after I put the the lye or so the distilled water that contained the oatmeal milk when I add when I when I poured in the lye, it instantly turned into oatmeal and okay, I'm I'm gonna show you this because I still have it and I have my glasses on so I'll be alright. <clears throat> so this is this is what you see here folks. Isn't that interesting? It is just the consistency of applesauce. I need to figure out how to properly and safely dispose that because it is still active lie. So after that did that I just kind of banged that idea and then I just started all over again with, with just the regular distilled water and lye. So now you know but I but I know that I've seen recipes out there that will make a oatmeal milk, but that's what ha that is what happened to me. I won't say that that is what will happen to you, but that was my experience already. So we have about 79 for the oils. Just make sure that we are in view. What do I say? 79. And you will often see me 
just take the temperature of my lye and and Mr. Yeah, Mr. Lye here. Just okay. So that was 85. Um, just out of habit, I just like like to just keep track of of the temperature. You know, just in case if something goes wonky here. I'm not a huge stickler of of the temperatures, but I do keep notes on what is what. So, without further ado, let's get making soap. So the oatmeal is in there, the fragrance oil is in there. change hands here so I can put this in the sink. Boop. Alrighty. Okay. Now this will discolor to a nice dark brown, darker than tan, but just a really nice color. Alrighty. Now, I did look on the Brambleberry site, and for this mold here, it says that it holds 49 ounces of bat turf. I can tell that this is not coming to a, a trace fast because I do have a high percentage of olive oil in here, which does take a while for it, for it to get you trace, at least from what I experience. Oh, that fragrance is just so nice. Okay. Now I'm just, I, I would like it to get to at least a nice trace. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, there we go. So it is leaving its marks in a little trail behind it. Let me go like this. Try to see if you can. You know what? I'm gonna. I know I showed this on a previous video, but that's all right. I'm going to zoom in here. Okay. So. Okay, it's thickening up here, so I better better move along. Okay, so as you can see, see you can you can see all these little curticues. So that means that the batter has thickened up, and that is trace. So I would say that this is a nice medium trace. Okay, I better get moving here. Back we go. Get my sweater off here. 
Okay. Okay, see, so that did not take that long. Once it hit that medium trace, if you will. Yep. Okay. Alrighty, so we shall see if this indeed, okay, I want to make sure that you can see this. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be a little tricky, isn't it? Little, little tricky. Let me see if I can move the stand up a little bit. Okay. Okay. I need to get up on my stool for this one, gang. All right, it's thickening up, so let's scoot the boot here. Scoot the boot. Oh, down we go. Okay, that paper was starting to rise on me. Ooh. Didn't do that before. You stay down there. Hmm. Okay, so this is thickening up. Okay, so we are now well, see see that's that better be all the way down there. All right. Okay, so I have some left over. Better hurry up and get it into something here. Okay, I'm back for the cutting of the oatmeal, milk, and in honey soap. And I am so sorry, gang, that I unmolded it. I was going to show you how easy it is to unmold it and after I got done I'm like whoops. So anyway I earlier today I just got done about an hour ago making 12 more of these um, rose soaps, cupcake soaps for Mother's Day and it's